I'm Daniel Finley with the Institute for Transportation Research and Education at NC State University. I'm going to discuss the use of basic calculus to find the high or low point of a roadway. Vertical curves are used to provide a smooth transition from one grade to another. The low or high point of a roadway will occur along a vertical curve as the grade of the roadway changes. There are two general types of curves, a crest curve that has a concave down shape and a sag curve which has a concave up shape. A crest curve can result in a high point while a sag curve can result in a low point on the roadway. A vertical curve is depicted in a diagram such as this, a section through the center line of the roadway. The typical vertical curve is a symmetric parabolic curve whose shape is defined by the parabolic equation. Please refer to some of my earlier videos for more details about vertical alignment and curve design. The PVI is the point of vertical intersection and is the point where the two tangents meet. The PVC is the point of vertical curvature and is the point at which the curve begins. And the PVT is the point of vertical tangency and is the point at which the curve ends. For a symmetric parabolic curve, the length of the curve is evenly divided on each side of the PVI. In other words, the distance from the PVC to the PVI is half of the length of the curve and the distance from the PVI to the PVT is also half of the length of the curve. The term A represents the algebraic difference in grades of G1 and G2. The parabolic equation is used to define a vertical curve, where y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. The term x is used to denote any horizontal distance along the curve. We will use x to calculate the elevation of the curve at a point. X is bounded by zero and the length of the curve. The letter Y is used for the elevation of a point along the curve at the distance X. To customize the parabolic equation for finding the elevation of any point along a vertical curve, the A term is equal to G2 minus G1 divided by two times the length of the curve. The B term is equal to the grade of G1 and the C term is the elevation of the PVC. All distances must be input in stations where one station equals 100 feet and grades in percent. The high or low point of a vertical curve occurs when the slope of the roadway is equal to zero. Therefore, the derivative of the parabolic equation can be used to find the location of the high or low point. The derivative of the general parabolic equation is two times a times x plus b. To find the high or low point, we can set the slope equal to zero and substitute our relationships for a and b. Therefore, the location of the high or low point can be found using x, which is equal to negative g1 times l, divided by g2 minus g1, where x is the distance from the PVC to the highest or lowest point on the curve in stations, l is the total horizontal length of the vertical curve in stations, g1 is the entrance grade in percent, including the positive or negative sign, and g2 is the exit grade, also in percent and including the positive or negative sign. This example shows two perspectives, a street level view in the top portion of the screen and the vertical alignment on the bottom of the screen, which takes a profile perspective. The PVC at point two is preceded by a tangent with a grade of negative 4.8%, known as the entrance grade, and the PVT at point three is followed by a tangent with a grade of 3.2%, known as the exit grade. The length of the curve between points two and three is 550 feet or 5.5 stations. Since this curve is a sag curve, we're looking for the low point of the vertical curve. Using the equation we derived earlier, we can input G1 as negative 4.8, G2 as 3.2, and L as 5.5 stations. Again, grades are input as percent and lengths as stations. The resulting answer is 3.3 stations, meaning the low point occurs at 3.3 stations or 330 feet from the PVC at point two. To find the elevation of the low point, we can use the parabolic equation and input our low point distance of 3.3 stations. Based on the parabolic equation that defines this curve, we can find an elevation of the low point of 109.76 feet. In summary, the low point of the curve occurs at 330 feet from the PVC at an elevation of 109.76 feet. 